Hello and welcome to this video on how to install the Enterprise Telephony Applications for IP Phones video. Uh, I'm a huge fan of free XML applications. Uh, I have, like, I use some of Antex and some weather ones that are free out there, um, which the servers are actually hosted on another site, but it's kind of cool to, you know, play games and do different things on your IP phone. Um, but going through YouTube I saw a bunch of videos like showing apps with Google Maps and all kinds of cool stuff and seeing how it works but uh, I was looking for some free applications and I, f I came across this site and it's been around for a while but uh, I thought I would give it a shot and I tested it and I like it so I thought I would just show um, show you guys how to install it if you're looking into this as well so you want to go to this entelap.com website and you just register for free and then you can download this um, this application which is just a jar file and then it has this um, what they have right now is beta 3 but as far as the user manual it has it for beta 2 basically it gives you the hardware requirements and uh, so for this I created a uh, virtual machine uh, in VMware and just threw Windows XP on it. Um, you need uh, the Java development kit 1.6 or higher. Um, <clears throat> any of these versions of call manager and there's actually more phone supported which I'll show you later once we get it installed but just wanted to walk you through this. Um, when when the software is installed it actually runs a server on your machine and you can select uh, load modules which will then connect to this license.entelap.com <clears throat> and it, it'll download those modules directly to uh, your machine so you, you'll actually be running them locally but it has to reach this public address initially to be able to pull it down. So as we move down to Step one, install the latest version of the Java JDK available for download. And uh, for that, I just pulled up the latest uh, as of this recording. It looks like it's 7U2. And uh, in this case, since it's on Windows uh, XP, I can just, oops, I'm down too far. Now I went back up too far. OK. Uh, in this case, I could just this is on a 32-bit system so in this case I would just download the Windows x86 accept the agreement since I read it obviously and then uh, we'll save this alright now once it's downloaded we can Go ahead and install it. Okay, and we'll hit run. Alright, and we'll just go ahead and install with all the defaults here. Now here's where we select the directory, so we'll say Java JRE7, hit next. Alright, now that we have the uh, JDK installed, it says uh, you download uh, in this case it's beta 3 because uh, I just tried it today and that's the newer one um, and just double click on it follow the instructions on the server setting screen type in the IP address of the ETA server same machine that you're installing on uh, admin account settings and specify the JDK path, uh, JDK path. Um, let's see okay Oh, I guess it's installing another portion here. 
So we'll just click through this here and then we'll move on to the uh, installation. Okay, now it's fully complete. So we can get rid of those and we'll double click on this ETA Beta 3, which you download for free once you register. And this is the part, um, if you noticed on the instructions, it said that it may not be able to detect it offhand. So do you want to proceed and we'll say yes. And then we'll choose English. I am in the USA and that was a British uh, flag, but it, basically it's in English. Uh, we want English if you want. Uh, let's see. Because there's other languages you can choose, but since we want English, we'll use that British flag. And then we'll select the path. Uh, we'll just put this under ETA. Yes, we'll create the directory. And then we'll go ahead and install the server and documentation. Then we put in the IP address of the machine that you're on. So in this case, it's 10.10.10.6. Hit Next. Admin. Uh, you can make this whatever you want. Okay, uh, path to your JDK. So in this one, we're going to change it to the one we installed earlier. So under C, Program Files, Java, and then the JDK, 1.7. So that's where we'll install it. Hit Next. Everything looks good. We'll hit Next again, and then it installs. All right, and then we just hit next. And I'll say create additional shortcuts. I'll show you what those are here in just a second. I hit next. Installation has completed successfully and hit done. Okay, so basically it just installed the start and stop so you can start and stop the service and it runs uh, basically as a, a batch file. So we'll go ahead and uh, double click on the start ETA and that'll bring up the log or the console and then we just wait until all the services are fully started. And while this is loading I'll just come down and we'll skip uh, uh, we'll, we'll skip this part for now um, we'll come back to that because next we'll go to uh, this right here log into the ETA server Met administrator to by the following URL with the admin admin123 and then this is where you uh, click on the load mo uh, modules for it to download all the free XML apps that you can use with your phone. So I just kind of copy this. Okay, server starting up. No, oh, startup. So that's how long it took a little while to start up. So now, based on that link, we'll change this to the 10.10.10.6. All right, and that brings us here, and then it said it was admin, then capital admin. Was it one, two, three, exclamation point? I'll hit login. All 
All right, so then um, right here we have our modules, so we'll click on that. And this says there's some new modules and uh, some new free modules and some new paid models. So we'll click on load modules. And this is where it'll contact the public server and it will download them to this web server. Okay, so now that all the modules have downloaded, it gives you um, a link to what you would set in your XML service. Um, if you wanted to manually like if there's just one that you want for example like uh, if you wanted Google Maps or the weather you can create a single uh, link uh, XML app and when the user selects it it'll go right to that but what's kinda nice about this is it with the uh, the recommendation that they have on here <clears throat> with this menu login it gives kinda like a iPad icon setup and then each individual individual user on the phone can customize which applications they want to install and you as the administrator can set which applications they have access to. So now that we have uh, all the modules or uh, XML modules installed, um, we'll go ahead and, and create uh, the service. So we'll log into Call Manager. Now this is this is also on a VMware platform, so and I'm just using the demo licenses. Um, reason I say that is because in the instructions, there's one thing I had to do a little bit differently to make it work, and I don't know if it's because I'm on the demo of Call Manager or not. But uh, we go to Phone Service, and we'll hit Add, and then um, we can just for this we can call it ETA. And for the service, it said this guy here. And we'll change this part to the 10.10.10.6. Now, in the instructions, it says to, uh, to it's probably click the Enable and Enterprise Subscription checkboxes. When I do this one, it actually doesn't show up, at least in my system, so I just hit Enable and Save, and this seems to work just fine. So now, um, we'll go to our phone to assign it. So we'll use the lab CIPC, and then under Related Links, we'll go to the Subscribe unsubscribe services and we'll choose ETA hit next and subscribe save you can apply the config and then if we bring up our uh, lab CIPC we can hit our services and here we have ETA so we'll click on that Right, and that brings up uh, this was saying kind of with the iPad icon style. So from here, you can click on Config, and now you can add applications however you want. So I'll click on number one here, and it gives us the list uh, we can choose from. So uh, let's start with. Let's see, we'll go here for page two. I usually I like the weather one so we'll start with that so I'll click on weather now it's added the weather and then we can add another one like uh, say Google Maps uh, save and now as you can see you can click on these and it will launch the actual application now there's some defaults in here like this says Death Valley California uh, but you can change to um, you can change and save. So once you set this up, um, we can clear this out. Uh, if I can click it. <clears throat> 
there we go and let's just say Denver for example hit search it finds that so we'll hit save and now it has the Denver I can click on forecast and every time I come back here it's always going to have um, Denver and if I want to change another city I can just uh, you know repeat that process and you hit menu to go back to your main menu and likewise we can go to Google Maps um, config search city again we'll say Denver and then here's the map and you can control um, you know zoom in zoom out and uh, it's kinda cool um, and likewise if, if I ever want to add I can always hit config and just keep on adding and it looks like this site they add some free ones from time to time um, and you can also use their purchase uh, versions but this actual application is being hosted on your own internal server so um, it gives you a little more flexibility I think uh, if you just want to create yourself um, remind myself to save this video so I don't forget you know you can just have you know make little notes to yourself and you can modify or delete it and it just it works you know pretty well for and especially for being free now with that said when we go back here uh, there will now be a phone listed it found the Cisco IP communicator um, it gives you all the um, you know the screen resolutions and all that but this was by a default registration so um, it, it found it once the application talked to the server uh, reason I say that is if you look at the the types of phones that are supported like if you go to phones and let's see is it no I don't want store let me get my bearings here there's a list okay here's the list of phones that it says it supports um, for the older ones like the 7975 uh, 7970s I tested the, as well as IP uh, communicators you just saw those auto registered but for the 9951 and 9970 ones those I had to um, I had had to build manually so in order for it to register so this was art automatically there but for the 9950 ones for example I had to um, put in the address and select from here 9951G and 9971G respectively because what would happen is when I went to the services on those phones it would just kind of flash and then close and it wasn't doing anything so but once I manually built them here then they registered and they work just like we just saw on the soft phone likewise the 9971 also has a touch screen so when you're in these applications um, you can bring up this keyboard and type on the screen if you want um, and that that only works on the touch screens obviously um, but uh, but that's just an FYI uh, those are there so hopefully that makes sense uh, and like I say it's free so if you're into this kind of thing um, like I say it's kinda of fun to play with and thanks for watching